In the cardiovascular system, the flow of blood is determined by factors that drive and resist moving blood. Even the system's level of production, known as cardiac output, can be measured as a ratio of driving force to resistance. Feedback loops in the central nervous and endocrine systems both change and regulate blood pressure and vascular resistance, and therefore have an important impact on cardiac output. The primary factors that influence circulation are mean arterial blood pressure, systemic vascular resistance, cardiac output. Liquids, such as blood, move from areas of higher pressure to areas of lower pressure. In the heart, where systemic blood flow begins, the pressure gradient is the mean arterial blood pressure. The pressure measured as the blood leaves the left ventricle minus the blood pressure as it enters the right atrium. The right atrial pressure is so low that its effect on systemic flow is discounted. Therefore, systemic flow is said to be directly proportional to mean arterial blood pressure. The greater the pressure gradient, the greater the flow. Systemic blood flow is affected by cardiac output, the volume of blood driven by heart contractions. Cardiac output is the product of heart rate and stroke volume and is influenced by venous return, the contractile strength of cardiac muscle cells, and metabolic demands. The greater the output, the greater the flow. Systemic vascular resistance is simply the natural dampening of blood flow that occurs in the vessel. The greater the resistance, the harder it is to move blood through the vessel. Factors that increase resistance are smaller vessel radius, greater blood viscosity, and longer vessel length. The greater the resistance, the greater cardiac output and blood pressure must be to overcome the resistance. 